We're going fast, huh? Whoa, look at that. What is going on YouTube? My name is Andy Gabs and my name is Solid Sword. And today we're at Southwick Zoo in Menden, Massachusetts. This is actually the town that I grew up in and it's probably a zoo that you've never heard of, but it's honestly one of the best small town zoos that I've ever been to. It's huge, there's tons of interactive exhibits and Scarlett wanted to go on a daddy-daughter date, right? Yeah. So she wanted to go on a daddy-daughter date and she wanted to vlog the whole thing. So. What are we doing? So we on the daddy daughter day. And we're vlogging the whole thing, right? Yeah, we're vlogging the whole feed too. All right, let's go check out some cool animals. Yeah. The first cool thing that we came across that Scarlett saw and she wanted to do, what are we about to ride, Scarlett? A camel. Scarlett wanted to hop on and take a ride, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Have you ever ridden a camel before? No. No? I don't think so. No. I don't think so either. It's a little bumpy, huh? But I think you fed a camel before, right? Yeah. We fed camels at Global Wildlife in Louisiana, I think, or it was somewhere like that a long time ago, and Scarlett absolutely loved it. Scarlett, do you like feeding the camel better or riding? I like both. You like both? Yeah. Good call. Though this town is absolutely tiny, the town of Menden's population I think is less than 10,000, this zoo is pretty incredible and has some crazy animals, big predators and even things like rhinos. Whoa, baby. Whoa. Whoa. He's going that way. It's like, I don't like people. I get out of here. It's like that. I get out of here. He's getting out of here. Yeah. But that was a really big white rhino, and pretty close to his exhibit, they have the white tiger exhibit, which is pretty decent size. It goes all the way from near over there. It has a big, huge water feature over there that's like a little pond with a waterfall. It looks empty at the moment, but I think he's actually sitting in his house over there. So we're going to go try to find the white tiger, right? Um, yeah. There's toys too. Let's do it there for us. I think we should go find the tiger, then we can go look at toys. No, I, I want to do it there for us. Okay. Priorities. Hey guys, while I'm editing this video, I just wanted to remind you, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, subscribing for me. If you're new here, I would really appreciate it. Me and Scarlett are gonna do way more videos together, so that would mean a lot to me and to her. She loves to read your guys' comments, even on the videos that she's not in. And I would also like to remind you that Animal Con is 10 days from today. If you guys would like to come see us at Animal Con, it is gonna be an absolute blast down in Orlando, Florida. I know I can't wait. This is my first year there as a creator. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm on a few good panels and I'm in the Scape Off. Come and see me down in Orlando, Florida, along with so many other creators. I can't wait to see you all there. Now, back to the video. They not only have the white tiger in this cage, but also a yellow tiger. Both are hiding pretty well. Uh, I'll try to flip you guys around and see if I can show you a little bit, but they're both very sleepy. It is pretty hot out today. It's like 80 something degrees and very humid. Just barely see the edge of the white guy, and then I don't even think you can see the yellow one. I can see him in person, uh, but his camouflage works pretty well. And what's your favorite animal you've seen so far? I like all of them. You like all of them? Good call. What are we gonna go see next? The lion? Toys. toys. Not toys. On the other side of the exhibit, right there, they have an African lion exhibit. So you got one lion sitting right on that log and then the other guy is kind of in the middle of the screen right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, it seems like everything is feeling kind of lazy today. And Scarlett, all she really cares about is getting a toy, which we're not gonna get right now because dad's gonna get stuck carrying it for the whole day. I'm not sure what they're building right here, but it looks like they're gonna build, I guess, some sort of primate enclosure. Super, super tall, it goes all the way up to right there and they have some like mesh netting. So I'm assuming that's gonna be for some sort of primates. And speaking of primates, let's go check some out. Just kidding, this is the snow leopard cage, my bad. You can just barely see them sitting on the rock over there, both of them very tall. That is their enclosure. Very cool looking. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but like the sky tram thing, the things that like take you above everything else, they have one of those here, so I'm gonna try to get on that as long as Scarlet will go on it with me. Um, they also have a cool deer forest where you can walk through, you can feed deer, they'll feed them like corn and oats and things like that. Uh, Scarlet, do you wanna go feed some deer in a second? Yeah. You wanna go feed some? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go feed deer and maybe ride the sky fari if I can figure out how to get on it. Quick ice cream Ice cream break time. got some more primates. These are little crazy monkeys, just like you and Sissy, huh? Yeah. Are you guys both crazy monkeys? Yeah! Oh, all right, let's go see them. <laughs> Evidently, they had a little baby born 
and he was born just 11 days before my birthday. The baby is right there. I'll try to zoom in on him. He looks like he's about to come out. The little baby came out. Oh, he's hugging the mom. That is the cutest thing in the world. Today is like September 3rd, I think. So that means that, no, September 4th? I don't know, it's something like that. So that means that monkey is only like two or three weeks old. Super cute. I love all of the little primates they have, and they have a huge selection of them, too. So we don't want these super, but why? So we don't know what they're called. They're super fast. We're gonna go on the super fast ride? Yeah, and the slow one. And the slow one? Yeah. All right, cool, let's go find them. Yeah. Pretty sure we can't get on those rides until we're at the very, very top, which is like the very end. But we'll see, I really don't know. We might be able to get it on it right here. It's a little bit confusing. I also don't have a map, so that would help. This is the entrance to the deer forest. I think this is one of the coolest things that they have here personally. No Come dogs on. allowed. Yeah, no dogs allowed. Why? Because the dogs will scare all the deer. So once we go in, this is like an absolutely huge exhibit. Um, the deer have free reign throughout all of this area, everywhere in here. But we got some corn so we can actually go up and feed them. Some of them are super, super skittish and then some of them will come right up to you. So me and Scarlett are about to go feed some deer, right Nugs? Yeah. yeah. She's tired and we've only been here for like an hour. So we've spotted our first deer volunteer. All right, go ahead, he's right here. It's a little fallow deer. All right, just hold your hand out Nugs. No, 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 just hold your hand out. He'll eat it right out of your hand. Whoa. Eat it. Wasn't that cool? He doesn't drown. <laughs> They like to eat it out of your hand so they don't gotta dig through everything. Look. Oh. What? I, sp I spooked him. Oh. I didn't mean to. I think he got scared of the camera, maybe. You're okay, buddy. Let me try. Okay, yeah, you go try. Just walk nice and slow. Daddy will film you from back here so we don't scare him again, okay? Just walk right up to him. Look, he's gonna come eat right out of your hand. Isn't that cool? What'd you say? I was trying my best. You were trying your best to feed him? Mean bad. Look, every time we walk away, they get a little bit closer. Those butt heads. Next up on our adventure, uh, per Scarlet's choice, is the cheetahs. And it looks like they are right on the edge of the fence. So we actually might get a good view of them. Do they kind of look like Simba? Yeah. Yeah, Simba is our cat. Both of the cheetahs are being very lazy, just sitting right on the edge of the fence. Scarlet, I think this is the closest you've ever been to a cheetah, right? Yeah. You can almost pet them, huh? Yeah, what? Uh... All right, what's next? Toys. <laughs> no, what's next? Rides. Rides. The one thing I will warn you about if you come here is there's lots of hills. This whole place is kind of built on one big hill. We just walked up that one. Still got all that way to go. Scarlet is tired of walking up hills, huh? Don't yeah. Hurt They're hurting your legs? Yeah. Daddy is tired too, but we're keeping on. Scarlet, what did you just say you want to get when you grow up? An ostrich? Yeah. What makes you want an ostrich? Just feed him and just feed bottles like a baby. You're gonna feed him bottles like a baby? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually excited. I've never done this before. We're going on the Soaring Eagle zip line, and Scarlet was just barely tall enough to be able to do it. So we lucked out, and this thing looks pretty cool. I've never done it before, but it looks like it takes you really up high and you go really fast. I wonder how they got tall. It's because you've been eating all the good food, right? My daddy told you that eating all that chicken and stuff makes you taller, right? Yeah. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. High five? Nice. This is the Screaming Eagle zip line. This was Scarlett's idea to go on. Luckily, she was just tall enough, huh? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go backwards. It's going to pull us back and then let us go and we're going to go super fast. Whoa. This is so cool. We're going fast, huh? Whoa, look at that. We are super high up. This is cool. All right, we're about to go fast, Nugs. You ready? I saw the future. <laughs> you see all the what? The future? Here we go. I was just joking. Woo! Was that super cool? Yeah. yeah, I think so too. That was honestly 
very cool, and I'm kind of shocked that Scarlett liked it. Um, Scarlett, you had fun on that one? Yeah! Alright, so now this is what Nuggies has been the most excited for, right? Yeah! So this takes you around like a good chunk of the zoo. I don't want to say the whole thing, but it gives you like an aerial view of a lot of the exhibits and a lot of the cages. It's a pretty decently long ride, so I will uh, probably time lapse it so you guys can just see where it brings you. Scarlett, you excited? Yeah. Is this going to be your favorite one, you think? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, you can put it in my pocket. What did you say those two leaves are for? For my mom. For your mom? That's nice. This is my best day of my life. The best day of your life? Yeah. Nice. It's just so cool, like right now we're going over the chimpanzee exhibit. And this is just a view you would never really get of an exhibit at a zoo, aside from, like I said, the San Diego Zoo or something along those lines, but it's still so cool. You can see that guy's pink butt way over there in the background. Can you say chimpanzee? Yeah. Say it. Say chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. Ah! She tried. Oh, maybe one of you guys can help me out. I think these are elk but I'm not 100% sure. They're pretty cool. Maybe reindeer? You got a male with some decent antlers on him there. Another, looks like a fawn. That guy has a huge rack on him. I won't drop it. Oh, right there, right below us. That was pretty cool. And uh, I know this is being time lapse, but if you guys were curious how long this ride lasts, so far we've been on for 10 minutes and 56 seconds. And I think it was only like six bucks a person, something like that. I like it a lot. And Scarlett, you love it too? Yeah! Super fun, arms up. No trip to the zoo would be complete without visiting the petting zoo. So they have goats, pigs, uh, I think a mini horse. Girl, like this way, big girl. Um, all kinds of stuff. So I gotta run in the store, get some change, so we can get some food. What do you wanna feed? I want a goat. Feed a goat? All right, let's go. <gasps> hey, excuse me, sir. Can you not? This guy is straight up just chewing on my hand. Ow, that hurt. He's got some like decent sized teeth. Once they know that you have food, they do. Oh! I really hope that I just got that on video. This guy just tried to yeet himself up onto my back. <laughs> hey. Well, he did it again. Oh! What's up, dudes? Oh, God, not again. Hey, what happened in there? He was trying to eat my dress. It was a goat that was trying to eat your dress? That's crazy. So I have been in that goat petting zoo thing probably a million times and never have I had a goat try to jump on my back or successfully jump on my back, I guess. I do have one more exhibit that I really want to show you guys. It's their red bat exhibit. Super cool, one of my favorites here. The red bat, my favorite exhibit here. It's in this really cool enclosure. Let me give you guys a, a little sneak peek. The amazing red bat. If I get you guys close, I'm hoping that you'll be able to, to see him. There he is right there. So cool. That was definitely not all the zoo had to offer, but Scarlett was kind of over it. She's tired of walking, huh, big girl? You tired of walking? Yeah. So what are we going to do right now? Get a toy. We're going to walk to the gift shop and go get a toy for her. They not only have the typical gift shop thing, things like the stuffies and all that stuff, but they have some really, really cool stuff um, for adults, too. Some, like, carved wood things, coasters, shot glasses, all kinds of different art things. These are really cool. That's an ostrich egg. Or maybe a dinosaur egg, not 100% sure. Um, I think they're only like 20 bucks, I might have to get one. I did get that emu egg on the cool little tiger holder and Scarlett got a little baby that is in like a little pouch thing. It's a tiger, really cool. Scarlett, did you have fun? Yeah! Can you say thank you Southwicks? Thanks Southwicks. Cool, I'll throw links in the description to all of Southwicks social medias as well as their website page if you guys are ever in the Massachusetts area. Definitely recommend checking it out. Thank you for watching, bye!